What up, everybody? We're gonna be doing reticles slash crosshairs slash whatever you wanna call them in this video. Previously, we've done muzzle flashes and recoil and stuff, but we do need something on screen for the player to uh, see where they're shooting when they're firing from the hip. We'll get into aim down sight in a later video, but this video, we're gonna be doing everything to do with reticles. It still sounds dumb. I think crosshairs is better. If you guys are new here, my name's Taken Grace and I make Unreal Engine tutorials to help you guys become a better game dev and make the games you've always wanted to. And if you wanna learn more, make sure you like and subscribe to the video and we will get right into it here. We are back in our project here. Just a quick preview as always, what we just worked on for those who are new here. Uh, last video, we did the procedural recoil. As you can see our gun is uh, shooting back. Um, I didn't fiddle around with it as much as I'm sure you guys did uh, just to get something that you uh, liked and looked good. But uh, anyways, we are gonna get right into the UI portion of things here, which we actually haven't done yet. This is the first UI portion of the entire first person shooter series here. So uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to um, go into our UI folder. We have already made a HUD class. If you haven't, just right click and make a uh, new blueprint class type of HUD class. Okay, um, but you're gonna make a new folder here and we're gonna call it widgets. All right, we'll open that up. And um, if you guys haven't seen, if you're subscribed to the channel already, I did release a complete beginner tutorial on uh, how to create widgets and uh, explain basically everything in very thorough detail. So if you are interested in checking that out uh, before you do this video, I highly recommend it if you are brand new to UI widgets. But for those of you who uh, know what's going on here, let's uh, go to user interface. We're gonna make a new widget blueprint. User widget and we'll call it crosshair. Okay, let's open that up. This is gonna be like the simplest widget you've ever made. Literally just gonna be a canvas panel. Drag that guy on here and we're gonna do a image onto the canvas panel. Okay, uh, we will rename the image cross hair image. Make sure that's a variable. And uh, then we're gonna go to anchors here and we're gonna hold shift and uh, control and then we're going to center this on screen here, okay? Uh, all right, so uh, we will need to size this. Let's do 75 by 75. I thought that looked the best. And uh, in the brush here, so we're, uh, you can leave this blank if you want, but if you just wanna see what something looks like, just type in crosshair. There we go. And uh, that's what one of them looks like. So that looks pretty good. Uh, one thing I wanna mention here is in terms of the image, um, we, aren't gonna size to content, and I will show you why later. Uh, we, we're just gonna control it through the size X and Y. Um, you can size to content, but I'm gonna show you why you don't wanna do that later. So um, we'll just leave it exactly as it is right now. This is everything that we wanna do. So um, we are going to get out of this widget here. And uh, now we're gonna open our HUD class in our UI folder here, okay? So it should look something like this. That's just because we don't have any code in yet, which is uh, shocking. No, just kidding. Uh, we'll get rid of actor, begin overlap, and event tick. We do not need those two things, okay? Um, as is normal with all of my um, user interface videos, we are gonna make a um, function uh, called widgets to spawn, okay? Um, in that video, I was just talking about uh, with the, the beginner course, uh, that uh, I didn't really uh, get to explain this that well because we didn't have any systems in. So if you guys are coming from that video, oh boy, you get to learn all about it. Let's uh, put widgets to spawn off of begin play before we forget to do that. And then we're gonna go into widgets to spawn and we're going to uh, create a sequence. Okay, all of your main widgets for your first person shooter project and for any project really in your HUD class uh, should go in a function like this. Um, and these widgets will be the ones that are going to be a part of your main HUD. Okay, they're gonna be spawned um, as a part of your main HUD. So you wanna create all of them so that you can run a couple of events uh, later on. Um, I also, create uh, stuff like, um, you know, a warning box or something like that that's hidden and it's not showing any warnings yet, but it's there and available should any warnings come up or something like that, right? So, all right, so let's create uh, a widget here. So we'll drag out of here, create widgets, boy. And we're gonna do our crosshair. We are gonna promote that to a variable and call it crosshair. Okay, uh, let's throw that in its own category as well, widgets. Okay, there we go. Uh, all right, so now that we've created the widget and we've uh, created a variable, we are gonna add it to our viewport so we can see it. All right, and uh, drag it across here again and we're going to set visibility as not hit decibel self and all children. All right, perfect, uh, that's it for now. Uh, we'll come back here and add in our weapon tray and other, other kind of stuff later. 
so we'll go back into the event graph um so we need a way to update um our crosshair every time that we switch weapons um or pick up a new weapon or whatever the case is okay so we're going to accomplish that with another interface we are going to go to our interface folder and we're going to right click go to blueprint interface and this will be called bpi weapon update we're going to be using this a couple of times in the next few videos here but the only one we need right now is cross hair update okay and the input we need is our gun data our fun data everybody guns are fun <laughs> uh all right and uh, the type is going to be the uh gun data what is it called it's uh, the data asset underscore weapon data okay that is what it is Alrighty, so let's just call this weapon data just so we don't get confused. Perfect. All right, let's uh, save and get out of that and then we go back into our HUD class. Let's implement that interface by going to class settings and going down to weapon update. And now we have access to that event right here. So we're gonna right click implement event. Okay, and we are going to grab our crosshair and we're going to uh, get crosshair image and we are gonna set brush from texture, okay? Alrighty. And the texture we want is our, from our gun data, we want to get the crosshair image. So if you guys are joining this video and you haven't followed the series, uh, the crosshair image in our gun data is, if, you go to, uh, if we go to our data folder, I've made a data primary data asset and in this we have our um, crosshair image right here. And then you just create a data asset inside every one of your guns that has an image. Okay, so that's what that's referencing. All right, so now that this is done, we need to call this interface event. And um, we need to do it in a couple places. Um, let's go into our player character to start. Actually, I think this is the only, one of the only places. Anyways, so uh, in our player character here, we're gonna go to player defaults. Okay, and we're gonna come over here and we'll, you'll see that we've spawned our primary weapon, we've equipped it, and we've changed the name of it. Uh, that's to change the animations to be the one for our equipped weapon. Um, this is where we're going to also want to um, add that in. So we actually uh, have a reference to our HUD class already. So we're going to drag that in here and we're going to get weapon. Pardon me. What, what do we call it? Crosshair update message. Okay. So that's what we want. We're going to drag this. We're going to come out of equip weapon and we're going to just add a reroute node and then get our gun data and then plug that into here. It's that easy, everybody. Uh, all right, so what we can do is this macro that's changing our weapon name um, is probably gonna be in the same area that we're gonna wanna actually add this um, crosshair update into. So what you can do is you can come up to controls and drop that down. Here's all the, um, the uh, what's it called? All the um, collapsed graphs that you've made and then all of the functions that you've made as well, right? So switches to primary, switches to secondary, probably good indicators that, that uh, we are gonna have this macro and we're gonna need to change our crosshair. Okay, so yeah, let's do it right here. So. Um, and just go back to your player defaults. Let's go back here and copy this. Copy that. And we were in change, switches to primary. I uh, will just paste this right here. And then we'll come out of equip weapon. And uh, we'll add a rewrite now and drag that right into there. That's nice and easy. Make sure you connect that or that'll, that'll cause some issues. I uh, will hit compile. And then same thing, we wanna do switches to secondary. Move all this down, paste that in. There we go. Um, I think that's everywhere that we want to do it, but just to double check, you can right click, change weapon name, find reference by name, and it's going to find everywhere in here that we have this. Uh, so here's another one, picks up ground weapon. So we did the switch to primary and secondary and in the player defaults, but the switch to ground weapon is another place that we'll want to add this in here. Okay. Drag that in, drag that in. Okay, there we go. All right, let's uh, test it out here. We'll hit compile. Nothing, nothing is all, everything's all good here. We'll close that and then we'll hit play. There's our weapon. We're gonna switch. Just gonna switch our weapon. It's gonna look super good. Cool. All right, so uh, that's what everything looks like here. Um, I mean, that's what all of mine look like anyway. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna do a little bit extra because obviously like when we shoot, it's kind of lamely just sitting there. So we wanna animate that um, 
crosshair to get bigger when we shoot and shrink uh, in size, create some bloom. All right, to do that, uh, we need to go into our HUD class. Let's create a custom event called crosshair fire. I hate that the tooltip likes to just put itself right in the way of everything. Okay. All right, so for the crosshair fire, we need to get our crosshair and we need to um, get the crosshair image once again. Okay. Um, and actually before that, we need to get a timeline. So let's get a timeline. So the reason we're doing a timeline is because I could not find a way to re-trigger an animation for a widget. So, I mean, I worked on it for a little bit, but, um, and I looked it up on the internet. I couldn't find anything uh, that could re-trigger an animation. I can only find one that's saying, is it playing in viewport or something like that? But uh, with a timeline, we can basically just restart the timeline every time we fire, and then that um, animation will actually look good. Okay, so we'll do, uh, we'll call this, you know, size for crosshair. Okay, or size for decide to, you know, not listen to me and all that kind of stuff. Size for crosshair. There we go. Uh, all right, so we are gonna play from start. So every time we fire our event here, we're gonna play this from the start, okay? And uh, let's just move this out of the way for a sec. Let's go into this timeline, okay? We'll set the timeline length for 0.3 of seconds. We will add a float track. And if you hold shift and click on here, you can add keyframes. We're gonna add three keyframes on here. Um, so the size that we set our image to was 75. So we're gonna start at 75 and we're gonna end at 75. Okay, the last um, the last thing that we just did there should be at 0.3. We're just gonna do this for now until I get it all figured out. That should be at zero. Uh, this is the point which it will get the biggest. So I think we can do a value of like 100 maybe. And it's gotta happen super fast, like 0 0.1. Like it's, you know, pretty much immediate. Okay, uh, but let's add some, you know, fall off here. Let's add the auto here just to add a little bit of curvage. And then maybe here too, we'll add some auto. Just kind of do, do something like that. All right, let's hit compile. Let's go back to the uh, event graph here. Okay, so now out of updates. Oh yeah, we didn't name our track. Rename, size. There we go. Uh, okay, so out of here, we need to, um, so I was talking earlier about the sizing to content. So I'm gonna just do that for a second. Like we'll pretend that we size the content. Um, if I open up that widget again. So up here, we're in the, the canvas panel slot. That's where we're sizing it. If you size the content, you're gonna be sizing it down here in the image size uh, in the brush. So in order to access that, again, don't do this because it, it's super annoying and ugly looking. Uh, you'd come out of here and you'd go set brush. Okay, and you'd have to split this and um, then you get all of this stuff. But the problem with this is if, you know, here's the brush image size, I'd split this and plug this into both. Um, but these are all gonna, uh, if I don't have anything plugged into them, it's gonna set them as nothing, like the, the image and everything like that, uh, which is not what we want. So then you'd have to get brush and split this and then literally plug all of these into, you know, each other. And you can probably see how gross and ugly and kind of silly this is at, uh, at this point. Um, I mean, yeah, you can do it like this if you want to go that row, but I just think this is ugly and there's another way to do it. So um, the other way to do it is we need to get the canvas panel slot that we have right here um, so that we can access the size X and the size Y for this um, uh, for this image. Okay, so we'll drag it here. We'll get uh, canvas or sorry, is it canvas slot is canvas slot. That's the one. Okay, then we'll drag out of here and we'll set size. And we will drag out of update and then we will split this size and plug these into here because these are gonna be the same for both because we want it to be un uniform. Okay, that's uh, that's it except we gotta call this event which we'll do in our weapon class. We wanna find the is firing right here. This is, let's move this up here in the way, isn't it? Okay, we do not have a reference to our HUD class. So we're gonna have to make one here. So we'll let's uh, get actor of class. Actor of class. Okay, and uh, we are gonna get our uh, HUD class. We're gonna promote that to a variable. Call it HUD. 
Okay, so um, I don't uh, I don't know if I've actually shown this before. I showed it in my UI beginner tutorial, but I'm gonna show it here now just in case. Um, we should be getting our HUD here and converting it to a validate get so that uh, it does not create the um, this variable again, because at, at this point, if it's not valid, it's gonna create it and then it's gonna be valid the rest of the time. So we don't wanna just constantly, you know, get active class and then reset this variable for no reason. Okay, uh, and then uh, out of HUD, we need to call that event. So crosshair fire right there. Okay, and then out of this valid, we're gonna drag into there. Okay, so uh, that's all we need to do for this to work. We're gonna hit compile. We're gonna ch test it out. And there we go. And when you fire a bunch of times, it's gonna just do that. That's perfect, it looks great. Okay, so I um, I actually just hit R instinctively because I've been playing lots of Delta Force uh, to reload my gun, which we can't do yet. So I think of the next video, let's do our ammo uh, and reload systems. But uh, anyways, hopefully this video helped you guys uh, just get some sort of uh, reticle system that you guys are looking for and just something super basic. Obviously you can add on to it if you want. And anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. Please like and subscribe. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you guys had uh, uh, any issues or you can join my discord where i have a um, help forum there where you guys can post your issues there and we can uh chat about them and try to help you out okay otherwise i will see you guys in the next video where we're gonna do reloading peace